Good morning, Gemini. This is going to be your video. Um, I apologize. I took last month off. I just I had some things I was working on myself. Um, I actually just posted a video and talked all about it. It's also on my channel. Um, if you want to check that out, if you're interested at all. Um, so here I am drawing cards for Gemini this morning. Hope everybody's been well. My goodness, and that is way too many, but we do have this one sitting out here by itself. I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull one more. Strong energy today. And I'm going to take this one too. And I want to pull one more card. So the first card that we have is Mary Magdalene Initiation. Um, so basically, um, I am picking up on the fact that you have had a lot of difficult lessons lately, um, a lot of difficult simulations, demos, whatever you want to call them. Um, that is what I, I call situations. These are just demos. These are just something... Um, that has basically, I have simulated, um, that I have attracted. Um, this is a situation that I have aligned to. Um, and with this initiation, um, these have come into your life to help you to question, um, to question your belief system, to question uh, ways that you have done things, things that you have done before over and over again, and um, actually to take a look at them as to why. Um, why um, do you behave the way that you do? Why do you respond the way that you do? Um, and you're really being asked to respond differently, um, to be more conscious, to, you know, maybe not respond at all until, you know, like, you know maybe later, um, whatever happens to really look at it, um, really go within and really process it. All right, we have perfect timing. This is the right time for you to move forward. 
So basically all of these things here have prepared you for like this next step in your journey. Um, this, this step that you're about to take or stops, um, this direction that you're about to take. Um, it's like you have been prepared. It's, it's almost like I'm getting this image of fire of, you know, being, um, purified, purified by fire almost. And, um, and now it's like, you know, you've come to the other side of it and now you're ready. You're ready to take this plunge. Um, it's like you're at this, this T in the road, you know, this crossroads. And, um, you know, and this is causing some confusion because you don't know um, really what it is you're supposed to be doing right now. Um, I would suggest that you ask for signs. Um, really follow your heart. Go with whatever really, truly resonates with you on a soul level. We have Ace of C's, Ecstasy. Um, you've gotten very comfortable, um, very comfortable where you are, um, but you're stagnant at the same time. Um, you know, not wanting to um, release that status quo, not wanting to um, kind of step outside of your comfort zone um, because you get very comfortable and you even get very uncomfortable in situations um, that are no longer for you. Um, there's this stagnancy um, of non-growth that you have um, gone as far as you can go. And now, um, like I said, you really have to kind of break free of that um, and take a chance. Because we have Supernatural and Hunter. This is that one that fell out by itself, that Hunter card. Aggressor, Tracker, Provider. Um... And basically, um, with this Hunter card, um, this is that drive um, to, to um, be successful, that drive to acquire things, um, material possessions, um, to provide for your family. Um, but at the same time, this is wearing you very thin. Um, this is taking a whole lot out of you. It's like this is um, the physical world, and then this one is the spirit world. Um, with this one, it says inexplicable, inexplicable, miraculous, and otherworldly. Um, so it's like the two are at odds, your physical self and your spirit self, your soul. Um, because on the one hand, you know, like I said, you're in your physical world. You're very satisfied, very comfortable with where you are. Um, maybe you don't want to rock the boat, um, but then on this hand, you're being forced to, you know, move forward, you know, maybe um, get a new job, um, change locations. Because there are forces, you know, at play right now, and um, there are going to be opportunities that are available to you, um, different choices, um, different options, and I know for myself personally, I don't do well with a lot of options um, just because it just causes so much turmoil, so much confusion. What is it I'm supposed to do? What I do when I am trying to make a decision, um, you know, I'm very connected to my inner guidance, my spiritual guidance. Um, but sometimes um, if I am confused about a matter, I will, you know, pick a sign, I'll pick a symbol. And I will ask to be shown that symbol um, within like three days, like three symbols within like three days. And this really helps me to get some clarity as to what I'm supposed to do, especially if you're confused, because there's a certain amount of confusion here. Um, I'm going to draw another card um, to clarify this Hunter card. I want to go a little deeper. Um, and with this card, we have official person, uh, maybe here, <laughs> aggressor, hunter, tracker. Maybe, you know, you feel like you're being pursued by somebody. 
Um, you know, this could also be finances, um, you know, bills, debt collectors, you know, maybe um, some sort of action against you and you're worried about your finances right now. Um, because I am picking up on the fact that this, a lot of this has to do with finances, um, with being a provider, with being able to provide, um, you know, and, you know, for somebody, you know, you are even thinking about pursuing a career that's got more of a, an official title to it, uh, maybe finishing, you know, a PhD or um, um, becoming an RN. Um, definitely, you know, got some goals, um, and these are things that you are wanting to pursue, and the time is now. We have perfect timing here. Perfect. So the time is right, right for the picking, um, for you to go ahead and pursue those goals. Um, we have Child Design Earth. Um, clarified by Lovers. So um, I feel like children um, are influencing your love life right now. Um, maybe you are actually thinking about divorcing. Um, maybe you have this person, another person. This is a third party um, that is kind of involved in the mix. Um, that's really, you know, adding to this confusion. Um, feeling like um, you want to be that hunter, you want to be that provider for your family, um, but you have, you know, this other person who um, you are very connected to, who you would like to pursue, um, but there are children involved, and then also, you know, you have a marital status here, um, somebody who um, you have a contract with. Um, because to clarify that, we have lovers. And the lovers are all about a decision, all about deciding um, between like two people. Um, do I follow my heart? Do I follow this person? Or um, do I stay, you know, where I'm, you know, committed, you know, where there are children involved? Um, I have this responsibility. Um, and, you know, a marital contract doesn't have as much to do and maybe in the beginning you know it was love and I'm not saying marriages you know that you know people have been in for a long time don't still have love um, but just because you are married and you have this contract with this person it does not mean that there is love there it does not mean that that is where you are supposed to be um, and I feel like, too, with this initiation, um, that you have been through a lot of trials, you know, maybe within this marriage that you are in, um, or it doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be someone that you've been with long term or someone who you feel um, committed to, obligated to, someone that you feel like you have to um, keep pursuing this and keep working on this. Um, and society um, really tells us, you know, that um, you're to, to do the right thing is to make a situation work, even if it means um, compromising um, our own um, happiness. So really take a look at this. Um, I was talking about that trial by fire earlier. We have um, uh, the child creative spark. And, um, you know, children are happier if we are happy. I know I left a marriage, uh, you know, I was, you know, in this relationship for almost 20 years. And then when I did leave, I waited till my kids were grown to leave and my kids were angry with me. And I said, why? Well, we wish you would have done that when we were younger, um, which, you know, at the time didn't make any sense to me. But, you know, when you see your parents going through all kinds of turmoil, all kinds of stress, all types of anxiety because anxiety does clarify this card as well. Um, that is more detrimental to them than actually having parents that live in separate places. Um, just all of this fighting and this anxiety. Um, I am going to pull one more clarifier um, for this child creative spark because like I said, I'm trying to um, dig a little deeper, figure out what is going on with you, Gemini. 
lots of overthinking um, going along with that anxiety, um, overthinking stress that I'm picking up on, um, just trying to um, make that decision, trying to choose. And sometimes we can be so empathic that, you know, we are very um, concerned with um, how somebody else is going to feel. And you have to set that aside and you have to really focus on how you feel and what is best for you. We have journey. So, yes, I feel like um, with this card, with this journey that you are going, you're heading in a new direction. Um, definitely a lot of changes taking place, maybe um, moving to another state, taking a job, um, taking a leave of absence to kind of work on things for a while. Um, that came up for somebody. Um, but with this journey card, you're about to embark on a brand new journey, and this can be very scary. This can cause a lot of anxiety, um, but your um, spirit team is here to let you know that this is being divinely guided and you are on the right track. We have wise woman. So I'm picking up on, you know, this older woman, you know, it could be um, an aunt, uh, a grandmother, um, even your mother, um, but somebody who has um, some wisdom to share with you. I mean, it could be somebody you're sitting next to on a bus or um, somebody works in customer service and maybe you're going to wait on somebody who's going to say something that's going to be so profound, it's going to resonate with you on a very deep soul level that um, you will really be able to use this. So make sure you pay attention to this because this is a sign as well. Um, we have Damien Hurst. This is my, these are my art oracle cards. Um, art and science are for confronting morality, mortality, I'm sorry, not morality, mort mortality. Art and science are for confronting mortality, postpone death, Preserve it in formaldehyde, encrust it in diamonds, talk to your local pharmacist. Wow. You know, so with that pharmacist, maybe it's somebody, you know, maybe you're going to get your medicine. Maybe, you know, this is that older woman. Um, but with art and science, I have found that science and spirituality go hand in hand. Um, you know, we want to separate them, you know, because it doesn't seem logical. You know, we have this rift, okay? You know, we have the scientists who explain things, you know, evolution and these type of things and archaeology digs and um, all these, this information that they have, um, that they provide for us that we feel like does not fit into like the Bible, for instance. Um, and I know, you know, there's people who actually work to connect those two. Um, they go hand in hand and they actually work together. Um, it's like kind of like this rift that I was talking about with like the physical world and the spirituality. Um, this is something that you're really going through right now as far as, you know, if I can't see it, if it's not logical, if I do not have proof, then I don't believe it. Um, where When there are, you know, miracles that happen every single day that do not fit into a scientific category. Um, and so it's really a matter of blending the two. You know, we live in a universe of duality, you know, where there's always going to be two sides to everything um, and really taking what resonates and incorporating it. You know, sit with it um, and really um, to ask yourself what resonates and what doesn't. Um, Talk to your local pharmacist. Um, I feel like this has to do with health. Um, I know for myself, I'm plant-based. I only, you know, eat plant-based foods or, you know, take plant-based medicines. I, I'm pretty much no chemical. You know, it's really interesting the formaldehyde came up and death. Um, I feel like more and more of us are kind of moving towards homeopathy, you know, homeopathy, um, holistic medicine, um, you know, eating better, you know, um, I know for myself, I'm organic, I'm non-GMO. Um, really finding, um, once again, I feel like this kind of goes back to that science too, science versus spirituality. 
um, what really resonates. I know a lot of us, you know, are, um, I, I know for myself, you know, I am not going to take the vaccine. I'm not here to be political about it, but I know that is my personal decision. Um, this is something that you could be struggling with as well. Um, something that, you know, you really have to kind of sit with and determine, you know, what is best for you. Nobody can tell you that. Each and every one of us are on our own individual personal journey. And, um, you know, and how we see the world is based on, um, you know, not only our planetary placements, um, but our conditioning, our childhood conditioning, our upbringing. Um, and so don't judge that except, you know, who you are and um, really um, step into that. And um, we have um, three of earth works. So I really feel like this has to do with that chakra system, that energetic system that each and every one of us has. Um, it, that's really, you know, where the science comes into spirituality. Um, yes, you know, we hear about spirituality and Christ consciousness and, um, you know, connecting to the spirit world and, you know, everything spiritual, everything that spirituality means to you. But we are energetic beings. We are living in an energetic simulation. Um, and all of our, our systems are connected energetically, each and every one of them. Um, I mean, you can study um, physics. The, I mean, this is, you know, you can study biology, studying science, you will be able to understand more, more um, how this energetic system works. Um, but really blending that into um, your spiritual practice instead of disregarding it. Um, we have go viral, not bacterial. That is so funny with what we're going through right now. This is um, Titan. A flattered client is a repeat client. Your personality can be as colorful as your canvas. And that is clarifying this card. You know, and um, our chakra system are, you know, different colors. You know, we have these auras. We have... Um, you know, and color and sound and light and all of those things are connected and we're connected energetically to the planets. That's the reason why, you know, retrogrades and, and, and whatnot actually affect us so deeply. And that's why each and every one of us, according to our birth charts, we're different um, because we are connected to these different planets and these different um, chakra channels, some more than others. Um, go viral, not bacterial. So I do feel like there's been um, a lot of concern also about your health. Um, you know, a lot of people have really worried about their health with this, you know, current pandemic. But um, I'm here to tell you that your fears manifest. And so if you're worried about your health, guess what? You're going to align to that. You know, you have to be whatever type of vibration you want to be um, to in order to attract whatever it is that you want to attract. If you want to be good health, you have to be good health. Um, with this um, go viral, not bacterial. Um, I'm going to pull another card for that. These um, little fortune telling cards absolutely um, give me, you know, perfect energy. So we have thoughts. So yes, you have been, um, and it's also an artist, which is very interesting. Um, so you have been, you know, worried about your health and don't let this um, keep you from living. Don't let this um, like keep you from um, enjoying loved ones, keep you from, you know, venturing outdoors, from doing the things that you were doing before. Um, because, you know, we are here to experience and you are um, divinely protected and divinely guided. Your team wants you to know that. We have the Green Man Initiative, Fertilization and Action. So I almost feel like this has to do with a garden, putting out a garden, um, getting in touch with nature, um, growing your own food, um, because there's this strong sense that I'm picking up on here um, of, you know, maybe going plant-based, um, going organic, um, 
really making healthier choices when it comes to food. Um, and like I said, maybe putting out your own garden. Um, you know, it's springtime. Now's a great time to start planning that. So if that's something that you were thinking about, then um, the time is right. The time is now. Perfect timing. Um, well, Gemini, sorry this video took a little longer than usual. There was just a lot of different things coming up. Um, do take what resonates. If you'd like to have a personal reading, reach out to me. They are 50. I'll include my email address in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.